¿Le damos pena adaptada o qué? ¿Cómo te fue el examen, mija? Más o menos, mamá. Disponible. Cambio. ¡Vámonos! Hi, I'm Sofia Jessica, and this is Angel, and welcome to the fan carpet. How are you both today? Good, and Good you? Good, and you? And so, if we go back to the beginning, was there a defining moment for you to for you to get into the industry? A defining moment to get into the industry? Do you remember? Mm, well, yeah, I was uh, holding the boom, <laughs> um, and an actor didn't show up to a short film, and the director asked me if I could like act. And that was the beginning for me. That was my first like acting experience. My story is a little bit less interesting, but <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to be an actress. And yeah, my mom helped me and I went to school. I mean, to, yeah, like theater and musical theater, theater musical theater, yeah, yeah, musical theater. theater. And then, yes, I became an actress and I'm so happy and thankful. But it was class Historia, I guess. Class Historia was yeah. my first movie, yes. What? He saw my first movie, <laughs> yes. History lessons. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. So, uh, what can you tell us about Midnight Family? It's a what story. What can you tell us about? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, it's a. I think uh, what's most important. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of important things, but I think the the bonds. I mean, the family. That's the core of the series, and it's about a family that has an ambulance and they work there. And but yeah, I think the family part and the bonding part. It's the most important. And Mexico City. I think yes. this this show, like the background, Mexico City is another character, and um, is portrayed by Mexicans, by Latinos. So it's a very unique point of view of the chaotic and beautiful side of Mexico City. Awesome. Um, uh, so what was it about uh, when you read the script? What was it about the your characters that stood out to you uh, to bring them to life? For me, I think it was the the vulnerability in this woman and her dreams and the way he, he, he the way she she faces life and, and her dreams. I think that was the thing that stood out for me. I think very very similar, like the sacrifice. My character is like um, he has dreams and expectations and he's always like sacrificing himself, himself for the family. Oh, okay. Um, and what does it mean for you to be storytellers and tell stories in this way? Like in this particular case, the opportunity of showing in a very like big scale, you know, it's Apple. So eh, all the world is going to see Mexico. So it's the opportunity of showing my city, my culture, my people, and portraying like a Mexican family, which I think is very important to watch. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, and what are you hoping audiences are going to take away from the series when they see it? Yeah, I I would love people first to 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 learn and to acknowledge that the fact of how many you know how's how's the business uh, with the ambulance in Mexico because I mean for me it was a huge surprise, and I would also I think this is a story of humans. I mean you can really understand what they're going through and you can. Like you can relate to them because of that, but you can also learn. So, I, so I would love people to learn and 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 yeah, like see a different um, like glass into this subject. And also the action part of the show, I really hope that people connect with the family, right, and all the drama. But also, it's going to be really fun to watch. Yes. Every episode, every single episode has like this action moment with the craft of cinematography, and you have explosions and accidents and an earthquake. So. I think it's going to be hard to not connect and relate with it. Awesome. Uh, well, thank you so much and take care. Thank, thank you. you. You too. Bye. Thank you for watching The Fan Carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, X and Instagram for more content. Bye for now. No cualquiera aguanta.
Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin I want you, let me hold you for one time Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.